Welcome back to another episode of No Need Adventures. So for today, we will be making baguettes. This kind of French bread is perfect for garlic bread, toast, or whatever may be applicable to you. So for this recipe, we will be needing 400 grams of strong bread flour, 5 grams of salt, make a well in the center, 260 ml of water, 5 grams of yeast. So the traditional recipe of baguettes should only have those four ingredients. Just mix all of those until everything is completely blended. Then leave it in the fridge overnight. That's all it takes. You could do this the night before and bake it the next morning. This is the dough after being rested overnight. It surprisingly developed strength and flavor without even kneading it. That's the magic of overnight resting. You can see how smooth and flexible it is. I will be dividing it into four pieces. If you want upsized ones, just split it into two or three. It's about 160 grams to 210 when you scale it. Now the shaping process of making baguettes takes great deal of practice and experience. I must admit that I'm not still an expert in doing this, but I'm going to show you what I've learned from doing this at home. I'm just showing you here methods of smoothening the dough. Just tuck each corners toward the center and you will feel the dough turn smooth as you go. Then roll it. I believe every baker has their own technique of doing this, so feel free to employ whichever works best for you. Rest these for 10 minutes for the gluten to relax. After 10 minutes, we can do stretching and shaping. Now gently stretch your piece of dough from the sides. When you rest the dough, it will be easier to work with. Until it forms into a rectangle. Then fold a section of the top and fold the bottom towards the center. Then fold the next one, pressing it evenly and it will form into a log. Then elongate it, starting from the center, moving slowly to the sides. Then you have it. Here's another method. Gently and carefully stretch the dough. Fold the dough starting from the top. Then another fold. Once again until you reach the very end. Always take note of the seam underneath. Then roll it again the same way as we did previously. And then we have it. Carefully place it into baguette tray. If you don't have this one, you could just use a normal baking tray. And finally, prove it for an hour. After an hour, the baguettes have risen well. This scoring part needs practice. I'm actually still learning how to do it properly. Always use a sharp blade to do this. Straight scoring is just fine. But the slash score looks so easy but it's actually tricky. Make some steam by spraying some water. Bake it for 200 C for 15 minutes. And this is what we've got. Crusty, golden, soft and chewy. That's perfect for savory spreads. I personally prefer herbed butter. This is just as good enough. 
This may not be at its perfect shape, but this gives you a sense of achievement whenever you are able to make bread on your own. I hope you like watching this video and I hope to see you all again at the next episode.